Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Mrs. Anand, retired professor from Niskir CSIR. I am going to talk on the module on referral service, document delivery service and translation service from paper on information sources, systems and services. After studying this module, you will be able to define referral, document delivery and translation services. Know the importance of referral service and how a library can provide this service. Know the need and importance of document delivery service. Describe the impact of information technology on the efficiency of the service. Define electronic document delivery system. No important electronic document delivery systems operating in the world. Describe problem associated with document delivery service. Explain the need and importance of translation service. Define machine translation systems. And know the role of library in procuring the translations of required document for their users. As you are aware, the indexing and abstracting periodicals, current awareness services, as well as STI services bring together recently published literature in specific subjects scattered over wide range of primary sources, such as primary periodicals, research reports, dissertation, conference papers, etc. These services select the relevant items, arrange them in helpful sequence, and bring to the notice of library users at regular intervals. These services list each item with full bibliographical details so that original document may be identified and located. Such services keep users informed of the latest publication in their subject area, help them to overcome language barrier and solve their research problem if any. At present, indexing and abstracting periodical as well as current awareness services are published in all the subject area and are now available in machine readable form. These are available as CD-ROM products or for online searching on the internet as bibliographical databases. Such availability of an easy access to list of recently published books online bibliographic databases and current awareness services on the internet gener generates lot of requests from the library users for the procurement of the original document which may be a book or a periodical article, a dissertation or a conference paper or any other document. At times if original item is in another language the translation of the same is requested by the library user. The above requests from the users initiate the library to procure the requested document, translate the requisite document or refer the user to the sources where requested items are available. All these services are responsive services as these are provided in response to the request from the user. The referral service, document delivery service and translation service therefore come under the category of responsive services. In this module, you will learn about referral service, document delivery service and translation service. We are taking up three responsive services, referral service, document delivery service and translation service. Responsive service is the service provided by the library in response to the request from the library users. Referral service deals with referring the user with some specific need to the sources outside the library. The source may be a recorded source or an expert or an organization or any agency which is capable of meeting that specific need of the user. Document delivery service is concerned with supplying that required document to the user 
either original or its copy in print or electronic form on demand from the user. Whereas translation service deals with providing the translation of foreign language document into the target language as requested by the user. Referral service. Whenever the information required by the library user is either not available in the library or is not within the subject expertise of a particular library, then the users are usually directed to sources outside the library where they would find the required information. Outside source may be a person and or an organization or an agency. Such service is called a referral service. Referral service does not provide users with a document or information needed by them, but directs them to sources of information where required document or information would be available. Online Dictionary of Library Information Science defines referral service as a type of reference transaction in which patterns with an information need are directed to a reputable person or agency outside the library. No library can hold all the material available in all the subjects of the interest of their users, but library has the responsibility to meet all the demands of the users. The best alternative is to refer the users to the requisite person, place, or sources. The referral service offered by the libraries fulfill this responsibility. Earlier, the purpose of referral service, particularly in public libraries, was to offer the users with current information and data on local community services, which will help them with health, rent, consumer, legal, and similar problems. Later, later libraries started providing information on sources of employment for providing referral service. Libraries often use or compile directories of social service organizations. Now, even in a traditional library, to provide information and referral service, it is common to call individual experts, including anyone from a local professor, to a leader in a local special interest group for assistance, or provide pamphlets, book lists, etc. to users which give users information on topics ranging from occupation to local housing regulations and provide a place in which active groups in the community may identify as an information clearing house. How to provide referral service? To provide referral service, a library maintains a resource file listing names, addresses, and contact details of persons, agencies, and organizations for referral purposes. The resource file is updated regularly. The question-answer component with the user and librarian occurs in three different ways to provide this service. Simple, simple referral, and complex. In simple referral, when user asks direct question about the name and address of the agency providing particular service outside the library and librarian provides the required information. In simple referral, after clarifying the query, the user is provided with the name, addresses, etc. of the agency. While in complex referral, the librarian contacts the outside agency on user's behalf or fix an appointment for the user 
or provide other assistance to the user such as arranging transport etc for the user during clarification and follow up the librarian tries to clarify the query in order to determine if there are needs other than those expressed by the user directly while referring the user to the outside agency librarian may apprise the user about the agency and its services in case user has has problem in getting assistance from outside agency the librarian may assist the user by contacting the agency and following up later to find out if user had received the required service or not assistant provided may be in the form of providing transportation transportation to the agency or arranging meeting with the service providers etc document delivery service document delivery service also known as document copy supply service deals with the supply of documents either original or its copy in print or in electronic form to the user on demand earlier the document delivery service was limited to the lending of required documents to the user for a specified period of time by the library from its own collection and if not available within the library then borrowing it from other libraries on interlibrary loan and lending it to the users with the introduction of xerography in mid 1950s and large scale use of photocopier in libraries by 70s the document delivery service was not just confined to the lending of documents but documents could be duplicated and permanently given to the users the library started using photocopier to supply copies of the required documents such as journal articles or a few pages of books for dds purposes increase in demand the demand for dds kept on increasing with increase in number of researchers primarily in the areas of science and technology this was followed by other disciplines there were many other factors which resulted in increase in demand for dds from 1960s onward for example exponential growth of published literature increase in number of users and availability of online and cd rom bibliographic databases providing easy and timely access to the published information resulted in great demand for the original documents on the other hand the declining library budgets increasing cost of the publications made it difficult for the libraries to fulfill the growing demands of their users many libraries started relying on other libraries to meet increased information need of their user over the years what was earlier known as interlibrary loan grew into a planned system of library cooperation to facilitate such cooperation a unified list of union catalogs was compiled at the same time producers of bibliographic databases started offering document delivery service for the bibliographical references listed in their databases however library cooperation systems had their own limitations such as problems of updating the union catalogs extra interlending burden on large libraries and withdrawal however library cooperation systems had their own limitations such as problems of updating the union catalogs extra interlending burden on large libraries withdrawal of some participating libraries to overcome these problems need for specialized document supply centers exclusively devoted to the document delivery service was felt in response to the need for specialized document supply centers many nationalized centers came up 
in the world offering document delivery service in planned manner some of the document supply centers operating in the world are british library document supply service uk national library of medicine usa national institute of science communication and information resources niscare new delhi india document delivery service of national library of australia and document delivery service of inflibnet ahmedabad india these centers offer dds drawing upon the resources ranging from comprehensive centralized centralized collection to decentralized collection impact of technology the advent of computers scanners and telecommunication technologies in 1980s made it possible to store the document in electronic form and transfer the same electronically anywhere via telecommunication networks almost instantly many libraries and information centers started using this technology to deliver the documents this greatly increased the speed of the service the availability of full text e journals and e books on the internet and emergence of world wide web in 90s had most significant impact on the dds the scope of dds expanded beyond the traditional libraries and document delivery centers the database producers e journal publishers commercial online vendors commercial e journal service providers and aggregators also started delivering documents electronically electronic document delivery systems the system employing electronic technology for receipt of requests and supply of documents electronically over telecommunication networks are called electronic document delivery systems this technology uses series of devices that scan paper copy of the document capture the document image and store it in digital format the digital digital copy of the document is sent electronically via email fax or other document delivery softwares like arial to the requester online dictionary of library information science defines electronic document delivery as the transfer of information traditionally recorded in physical medium to the users electronically via email or world wide web the libraries employ digital technology to deliver the information contained in the document and files placed on reserve and requested via interlibrary loans emergence of e journal consortia at present most of the scholarly peer reviewed journals are available in print as well as in electronic form e journals with built in search facilities multimedia capability and remote access are in great demand by the library users but ever increasing but ever shrinking budget of the libraries and exponential growth of e publications and their escalating cost are making it difficult for individual libraries to meet this meet this demand but ever increased but ever in shrinking budget of the libraries and exponential growth of e publications and their escalating cost are making it difficult for individual library to meet this demand so many libraries are joining to form a consortium for subscri- subscription to e journals with internet access to e journal a user can search and browse tables of contents of a journal view abstract of the selected article and if desired can browse and download the full text article instantaneously on his or her computer consortium based subscription to e journals 
and electronic full tech databases are picking up by the libraries in India. At present, over 10 national level consortia are operating in the country. Some of them are INDEST AICT e Consortium, UGC InfoNet Digital Library Consortium, and National Knowledge Resource Consortium of e journals of CSIR and DST. This has resulted in lesser demand for printed journal articles. Because of e-journal consortia, most of the document supply centers are witnessing decrease in demand for delivery of documents, particularly of journal articles. Document Copy Supply Service of NISCARE. NISCARE provides copies of articles from Indian and foreign journals, patents and standards on request. The service is based on decentralized collection of resources held in major libraries in India, including its own library. The requests are received by mail, fax or email. The location of document is identified using database of NUCSI, that is National Union Catalog of Scientific Serials in India. NUCSI database has information on 45,541 periodical titles held by 464 major libraries in the country. First, the requests are met from NISCARE's own collection of resources, then from Delhi libraries, and if not available, then from other libraries of India or from foreign countries. Other services of NISCARE are Content Abstracts and Photocopy Service, NISCARE Online Periodical Repository, and National Knowledge Resource Consortium. CAP service provides table of contents of selected journals to the subscribers. The sub subscribers on browsing the contents can place order for abstract or full text articles through document copy supply service of NISCARE. NISCARE online periodicals repository provide online access to 18 research journals of CSIR published by NISCARE free of charge. An OPR database can be searched by periodical title, article title, authors, keywords and date of publications. National Knowledge Resource Consortium of e-resources provide online access to 5,000 plus full text e-journals plus citation and bibliographic databases to scientists of CSI laboratories and DST institutions. The scientist can search, browse, and download any document for research purposes. In addition, the researchers and scholar who visit any CSI laboratory, institution, or library are also permitted to use these e-resources free of charge for scholarly purposes. Document Copy Supply Service of British Library British Library has world's largest collection devoted to the provisions of remote document delivery. Its online ordering and administration system is fully automatic. It permits searching the collection and placing order online. The electronic copy of the document is delivered electronically to the remote computer. Other services of British document supply systems are Publishers Digitization Service, Loan Service, Reprint Service, and Electronic Thesis Online Service. Through British Library Publishers Digitization Service, the publishers can place order to get digital copy of the back volumes of their periodicals, which are available in British Library collections. About 3 million books in English language from British Library collection 
are available for loan to the organizations in Great Britain as well as in other countries. Books are loaned to the organization and not to the individuals. British Library provides original quality reprints of articles directly from the publishers for internal training or for dissemination to the customers at events and exhibitions. Electronic Thesis Online Service of British Library provides online access to over 250,000 UK theses. One can search the database free and place order for full text on payment basis. Document Delivery Service of National Library of Australia National Library of Australia provides interlibrary loans and document delivery service from its own collection and facilitates access to the collection of other libraries in Australia and abroad. Copies Direct Service of National Library of Australia is fast and inexpensive service to get copies of articles, chapters of books, photographs, pictures, maps, manuscripts, etc. from online library catalog. Copies of the items requested by the user can be delivered in three ways. One, the copy is scanned and posted to NLA website in PDF format and user informed via email with the link and password to the website to allow him to pick up the copy. Second way is copy can be printed and sent by post or thirdly, it can be picked up by the requester from National Library Australia. Electronic Document Delivery Service The systems employing electronic technology for receipt of request and supply of documents electronically over telecommunication network are called electronic document delivery system. This technology uses series of devices that scan paper copy of the document, capture the document image, and store it in digital format. The digital copy of the document is sent electronically via email, fax, or other document delivery softwares like Arial to the requester. Info Retrieve Incorporation is world's largest electronic document delivery service provider in the world. It delivers over 1 million documents annually, of which about 70% of the documents are supplied within 5 minutes. Just automatic loan request and routing system used by thousands of libraries in the world. Dockline System, Interlibrary Loan System of National Library of Medicine, USA. Dockline is an automatic interlibrary loan request and routing system of National Library of Medicine, USA. The purpose of the system is to provide efficient document delivery service among libraries in the National Network of Libraries of Medicine. Document Delivery Service from e-journal Publishers Publishers like Springer, Elsevier, Emerald and others provide online access to their full-text e-journals, books and e-reference collection. One can search and get electronic copy of any document on payment basis. However, there are many problems associated with document delivery service. Copyright issues, interlibrary lending at national and international level, incompatibility of interlending loan protocol for document delivery purposes, and restrictions imposed by publishers on storage and delivery of documents electronically are some of the problems faced by DDS operators. Role of international organizations. Many international organizations are involved in finding solution to these problems. IFLA Committee on Copyright and Legal Matters represent the voice of international library community in copyright intellectual property matters. Under IFLA voucher scheme, 
IFLA issues plastic vouchers of Euro 8 and Euro 4 to be used for interlibrary loan transactions. Libraries purchase these vouchers and use these vouchers for paying interlibrary loans and for getting photocopies of library materials. The voucher scheme saves the libraries from the hassle of foreign exchange. IFLA document delivery and resource sharing section aims to improve document delivery and interlending at national and international level through the use of new technologies and increasing cooperation among the libraries and document suppliers. International Standards Organization has published a standard to manage interlibrary lending transaction by the libraries. Translation Service Translation service deals with the provision of translation of a foreign language document into the target language as required by the user. Over 50% of the literature in science and technology is published in languages other than English. English speaking researchers do not have access to this literature unless it is translated into English. This demand for translation increased after the Second World War. Government sponsored research in areas of space sciences, defense sciences, and nuclear sciences resulted in exponential growth of literature in science and technology all over the world. The demand for translation service, service was at its peak during 50s and 70s, particularly for translation of literature in science and technology. Translation services in science and technology. To meet this demand and to prevent duplication of translation efforts in the world, International Translation Center was set up in 1975. The center did not translate but registered and indexed translations carried out by cooperating institutions, firms and individuals who voluntarily deposited copies of the translations with the center. The center announced the translations carried out in the world by various agencies through a monthly publication, World Translation Index. However, International Translation Center closed its operation in December 1997. Index Translationum is published by UNESCO annually since 1932. It provides details of books translated into English by 100 member countries of UNESCO. The books cover all fields of knowledge. From 1979 onwards, the index is available in machine-readable form and has over 2 million entries. Translation Services in Science and Technology in India in India, several government organizations, public sector undertakings, and R&D institutions have in-house translation facilities to meet their own translation requirements. NISCAR, formerly INSDOG, has been providing translation services in science and technology to the scientific community since 1952. Presently, NISCARE provides translation of SNT documents from 20 foreign languages into English. It also provides reverse translation from English into French, German, Japanese, Russian, and Spanish. Translation activities in humanities and social sciences in India. In India, there are 22 official languages recognized by the government and most of the official correspondence is carried out in English, Hindi and other regional languages. This requires urgent need for translation of official documents. Apart from this, there is need for translation of textbooks, scholarly material and literary material.
in response to this need there are a number of organizations which are actively involved in translation activities in india some of them are national council of educational research and training national book trust state council of educational research and training sahitya academy central institute of english and foreign languages institute of asian studies and indian council of cultural relations machine translation machine translation is application of computers to the translation of text from one natural language to another currently the state of machine translation is such that for quality translation it requires human intervention during post editing and pre editing phase in other words it produces rough translation machine translation systems are mainframe computer personal computers and internet many commercial mt systems like sistron metal logos and fujitsu atlas which were developed initially for mainframe computers have brought out their pc based version sistron company offers wide range of pc products such as sistron professional sistron personal sistron office translator and sistron web translator machine translation translation requirement from empty systems at present there are four types of demand from empty systems empty system for dissemination this demand is for quality translation for publication purposes to fulfill this demand most of the empty system have augmented their systems by developing translation tools like terminology databases translation memories translation workstations etc for human translators to post edit the text empty system for assimilation this demand is for quick rough translation to get an idea about the document content sometimes users are satisfied with rough translation produced by empty system because they can extract or assimilate what they need to know from the unedited version of the translation empty system for interchange this demand is for translation of text on the internet such as translation of web pages email and electronic chat this demand is increasing rapidly to fulfill this demand there is need for immediate translation to convey basic content of the message here empty systems are playing major role as they can operate virtually in real time and online people are using empty system for this purpose and they have no objection to poor quality of translation because it fulfills their immediate need empty system for information access this demand is for integration of machine translation software to search and retrieve full text documents from databases such as retrieval of translated version of electronic journal article or retrieval of bibliographic databases role of libraries in translation services libraries should maintain a list of translators and translation agencies which carry out translation activities and list should be updated regularly to sum up in this module we have covered three types of responsive services namely referral service document delivery service and translation service and dealt in detail how these services are provided by the libraries referral document delivery and translation services are responsive services which are provided to the library when requested by the library users referral service is concerned with directing the user with specific needs to the resources outside the library 
the source may be a reputable person or organization or an agency which would fulfill the information need of the concerned user. Document delivery service deals with the supply of document, either original or its copy in print or in electronic form to the user on demand. Translation service deals with translation of the foreign language document into the target language as per user's demand. The efficiency of document delivery service depends on three factors, namely speed, cost, and satisfaction level. Ideally, the DDS should be cost-effective, speedily delivered, and should satisfy all the requests it receives. Emergence of electronic document delivery systems have improved the efficiency of this service. However, because of e-journal consortia, most of the document supply centers are witnessing decrease in demand for delivery of documents, particularly for journal articles. Translation service deals with providing the translation of foreign language document into target language as requested by the users. To meet the demand for translation services, many national level translation centers came up in various countries. These centers either carried out translations themselves or acted as referral center for collecting processing and announcing the translation done by various agencies in the country. International Translation Center published World Translation Index to announce the translation carried out by various agencies throughout the world. International Translation Center closed its operation in December 1997. At present, research in machine translation is picking up and many commercial MT systems are offering free translation facilities on the internet. We do hope that you have grasped the information content of this module. Thank you.